Hi there, my name's Pete. Um, I used to be a painter and decorator and I'm transitioning my career into tech. Hi, I'm Albert, I'm from Birmingham. I used to work as front office manager for Marriott Hotels and now fully diving into tech industry. Hi, I'm Gabby from London and my background is in scientific research and outdoor education, but I've decided to make a career switch into web development. So for our presentation, we're going to tell you a little bit about MongoDB and what we discovered about it during our research. So what is MongoDB? It's a, a popular NoSQL database management system or non-relational as opposed to relational. Um, it stores data in flexible JSON-like documents known as BSON. Um, BSON stands for Binary JavaScript Object Notation. It's binary encoded serialization of JSON documents. Um, there's just some pictures at the bottom of the screen there to show you what it looks like. Um, Mongo is designed to provide high performance scalability and flexibility for handling modern data intensive applications. Thank you, Gabby. Um, I'm going to talk about like roughly why we would use uh, MongoDB. Um, basically, it's a highly flexible um, system. It's traditional, traditional relational databases are based on rigid schemas, which can be restrictive. Um, when dealing with unstructured data, MongoDB's document oriented model allows for flexible schema design, enabling developers to store and query data in a way that closely matches the structure of their uh, application objects. Um, it's highly scalable, has great performance and a really user friendly um, development language. Uh, overall, it exists to address modern application development, providing a flexible, scalable and highly performance solution that enables users to innovate faster, more and more efficiently. Uh, so when would you use it? So you'd use MongoDB for applications that require flexible data models, horizontal scalability and real time analytics. Um, you wouldn't use it for highly transactional applications with complex relationships that would benefit from SQL joins. So while MongoDB and other NoSQL databases offer a lot of advantages, there are still scenarios where a SQL relational database might be more of a benefit. So if your data is a well-defined schema and follows a strict structure, a relational database might be more suitable or beneficial to your needs. Um, I just wanted to show this screen quickly. Um, it kind of shows you Mongo's place in the market with uh, AWS leading the way but Mongo uh, DB pretty much as a close second. So now we wanted to tell you a little bit how it actually works. Um, it stores data in flexible JSON-like documents, as Gabby uh, told us a little bit earlier. It allows um, a wide variety of data structures. Um, data is stored in collections, which are similar to tables in relational databases. Each collection contains multiple documents, and each document consists of key value pairs called fields. Um, MongoDB uses a query language similar to SQL and it's called uh, MQL. Uh, why does it use MQL? It is written in JSON-like syntax, so it makes it uh, very easy to read and write. It also supports indexing, which helps optimize query performance by allowing efficient uh, data retrieval. Um, here we can see a few examples of, um, of the syntax, how it actually looks. And uh, we, working on our research, we actually came out with a few reflections. So first of all, we gained some uh, new perspective on the dat databases. Um, we learned also about documented uh, orientated data. We understood how big amount of data can be handled. Um, uh, when we work with uh, multiple uh, databases with uh, different um, information in each of them, uh, we learn that flexibility in databases can be very helpful and um, can be actually manageable, what is very important. We also discovered who are the competitors and what to look for uh, when choosing a, a database provider. 
Um, uh, we um, got our information based on a few interesting articles and uh, books, um, as well as uh, videos. Um, our uh, resources list you can find uh, just under this video. Thanks for listening. Many thanks. Thank you.